uh, in last video I made something called as why is Latin was shown weak in Pacific Rim so hope you guys check it out I just uh, I just check it now I just checked it now and I was like okay no one was watching it so I, I just wish that I would you guys would watch it so I came up with another theory for Godzilla fans well, in the Godzilla King of the Monsters, you know this one specific titan called as Scylla, which came, which was awakened by Ghidorah's alpha call and was shown at the last bowing down to the real king Godzilla. So, in the Godzilla GBK, you know that these titans were actually defeated, but what if I say they were not? Okay, now, here's what I'm trying to tell. If you don't know whoever Scylla is, Scylla is a titan which was awakened by Ghidorah's call. And was shown in Monarch's outpost as a titan. This titan was found somewhere like near somewhere. I don't know. I just forgot. Oh my god, I'm more worse than this. Okay, let me come straight up to the three. What happened to Scylla? Where, where is it now? And what is actually happened to the titan? So let me come up what actually happened to the titan. Well, I'll just tell you something. Okay, here's what I'm trying to tell you. So what actually happened to the Titan is actually the Titan was not even following Godzilla's rules. If you don't know or not, there's actually like three new Titans in Godzilla Dominion book. If the person of Godzilla fan having Godzilla Dominion book, they will understand on what I'm trying to tell. Like there are like three Titans. Their name is Titanus uh, Tiamat, Titanus Amluk, and Titanus uh, Nika. I think this was supposed to call it. So this is a titan which was creating some sort of a nuke, and the hunger driven her mad. So she was not surrendering to Godzilla. I think you guys can see that one line. She's not surrendering to Godzilla. She's just like a muto. She's doing something, something, some to muto, but she was fighting with Godzilla. So after that fight. This is what actually happened in the Titan. After the fight, you know, actually, uh, after the fight, even the book says nothing. There's, like, just something else happening. I really don't know. But here's what I'm trying to tell. The, how, what if I say the Titan was, the Skylar Titan was in Hollow Earth? What if I say Scylla or Skylar, the Titan, was in Hollow Earth? And let me tell you now. So I told them what actually happened to the Titan. Now, it was never defeated in Godzilla Dominion. So it was never killed. Because the thing is that this novel is in the middle of King of the Monsters and GVK. There's this novel telling on what actually happened to the Titan. So people will be like confused with GVK saying that these Titans were defeated or killed. But no, they aren't. Because there's no way Behemoth still lives with one tusk and fighting arm look. Still are creating a whole nook. Well, uh, we are uh, very unsure about Rodan, Methuselah, and Muto Queen. Because I think they're all in all the earth. Or Methuselah could be, I think he could be kind of lucky because he's a mountain. He, because his whole body will be underground and not up. People won't see him, except his mountain. That's the main part of his body. I think the Muto Queen is actually underground, living there in the cave or something. Rodan could be finding another volcano and listening to Godzilla's instructions. Well, when it comes to Scylla, this is what actually happened to the Titan. This Titan was fighting Godzilla, not even listening to the real king, fighting and creating a whole nuke. And after that, the Titan was defeated and the titan was listening to godzilla once more and after when it's listening to godzilla godzilla told it to go to antarctica where the entire sequence really comes now the sequence is Scylla will go to the antarctica when Scylla gets to antarctica it will do whatever godzilla says because it's a real king and she have to do whatever a king supposed to tell her well after that, she'll just like do some radiation or something which can, which will like, like what to say, like it'll like, uh, she lives in Antarctica, so I don't know how to really explain it to you, but this is what actually happened. So, 
the Titan was just like having its powers and just like like how a behemoth in Amazon forest Skyla and Antarctica. But there's a little twist. When Scylla was going there, Scylla saw something. Or Scylla. I mean, why am I saying Scylla? I mean, Scylla. Scylla saw something, which was a huge tunnel. Well, the Titan can't just stay in the over top because the Titan can't stay at the top because it's the uh, other chance of people. Like, well, if in GBK, just think what if Scylla w- was there? People would have spotted the Titan and Kong would have killed Scylla. But since Scylla found this tunnel, there could be more evidence that this island went to the Hollow Earth. And here's why. The reason I'm saying this is because in Antarctica, there's a tunnel where, where it leads to Hollow Earth, which is a portal. So Scylla might have tried to find shelter to live so that it don't get spotted by any creature or any humans. After that, Scylla was finding shelter and there was in the, you know the portal? The portal might have given some portal sounds. Scylla might have heard it and she might have seen something. After she sees a whole light with a like a whole circle and she goes inside. After she knows that this led her somewhere and she was at the all of her, the gravity might have pulled her up and down and she was in all of her. So this story is very confusing, but this is what actually happened to Scylla. The Titan was fighting Godzilla and after that she was defeated, listening to the Titan's orders again. And after she went to Antarctica, she found this tunnel to find shelter and she might have heard portal sounds. She might have checked it on and she might have checked it and she might have been inside the portal and she might have traveled to the all of earth. This is what happened to Scylla. Well, if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and give a like. See you next time.